Are you watching me? Go to the party, press start on my name, and then I start watching my broadcast. I Can you see me yet? You said what? Nah, this is a, a monster. His name is Rattleban. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Nah, this is a hammer. I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to go kill. You just go to the forge and he'll forge you a hammer. And then you can... Yep. I got multiple builds. You can have up to like fucking 500 builds on this game. You see those little blue sparkles on my screen. Basically, that tells me <clears throat> that tells me where a monster is or where it's going. There are no towns. This is uh, a wild area, basically. So basically, you came to this place. It's called a New World. It's basically its own island, and. Um, you're, trying, you're basically here to research monsters, or research a main monster, his name is Zora Magdaros. You were following him on a ship, he destroys your ship, you land here, and you build a fucking base. Like, okay, we're just gonna research you. Right now that's fucking laying down and yelling at me. He trapped me in an animation of uh, me covering my ears. That shit is one of the most annoying animations in the game. There's another monster over here. His name is Bouncy Beast. He's gonna run right past that bitch. I'm looking for the monster I need to kill, which is Paolumu. You can see in the top right corner, I have to capture that monster. It's usually, it's usually over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I've got him giving me buffs right now. But there's different builds for him. The healer one st is the starting ability. That's it. You start out with healing. There's Paolo. There he is. I can go switch it, but I can't. I'm pretty much set with this while I'm using it. I can't like switch it. Like I already have weapon. Yeah, he's about to see. See, he's about to go to sleep now. You can see. Then my sharpness is still at blue, but I want to max it back out, so I go 
to my sharpness tool. Bop. Start sharpening my weapon. Bop. Another fucking attack down. Come back with a slide attack. He's about to go in there. I'm gonna stop that. Sometimes, like, it's inconvenient for a monster to run up on you while you're fighting another monster. So you actually use uh, dung pods against it. Because when you shoot doo-doo at a monster, it runs away. Yeah, dung pod, that's what it is. It's literally doo-doo from a monster. Alright, he left anyways. Yeah. Monsters, like, if you do too much damage to them, they'll, like, move to a different area. He ran away, so I'm gonna put my flash box back in. Oh, yeah, never mind. He went to the same area, so I'm gonna go back to the dumb pods. Bottom left, he's a, he's a, like he got a little heartbeat sensor. You just keep basically what you want to do is just fucking keep hitting him. So if it has a big ass dip in the flat line sensor, that means he has a lot of health. If it starts fucking uh, turning orange, that means he's uh, mad or enraged. Sometimes it'll flatten out, but then you got like little bump, little uh, dips. That means it's probably like exhausted or tired or hungry. And you'll notice like if I put him to sleep, he'll fucking oh shit. Oh, this guy fucked up right there. Do they evolve? Yeah. He um he doesn't evolve. You just level him up. And then you can also get some armor sets, like the armor set I have on mine, he's doing, uh, it's the, it's the other monster that I shot, uh, Dung at, that's his armor set, cause I killed that monster a lot. Alright, now he's fucking flying away again. He's fucking up there. He's gonna climb up here. Oh fuck, Dazzle Beast is up there too. Like they have little, if you look at the mini map, it has uh, the monsters on there too. And then a the little green up arrow is like latitude, longitude and shit. So you basically know where it is on the mini map. Get out of here. I gotta go fucking 
chase down fucking Kaluma. You see right now my sharpness is at uh, green now. I actually don't need to sharpen, I can just follow him and then put my trap down. That's it. And then he'll be alright. I already know where he's going. I know where his nest is, so following him is actually pretty easy. And if you don't know where he's going, you're gonna be like sometimes the scout flies, they their pathing is weird, so then they make you like go like the fucking long way sometimes. Because the monster is flying in the air so it doesn't have terrain, so it just goes over terrain. Different. And place my shock trap down. Basically, when you capture a monster, you basically get a shit ton of parts, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then, like, if you kill a monster, you can carve it, and depending on the parts you broke off the monster, you can get basically better. You can, it's more easier to get the shit that you want. But, it can, you can get more shit, but not get what you want if you capture it, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I meant to do. I had a guy, but then I wanted to see what the arms, uh, the arms just look like on a girl, and then I couldn't change it back to a guy, so I was highly upset. So then here's my rewards: parts of a monster. I got some gems from it. Place the gems and some skills. Pep jewel decoration enhances the sleep resistance skill, so it gives me sleep resistance. Wind resist, Jill. Jewel. 
windproof. Windproof is only good against this particular monster, but he's. I fought him so much, I know his weakness, so I don't really need But there's another monster that. No, I'm tripping. This is not the only monster that uses wind, I'm tripping. There's another monster that uses wind, and then this actually is really, really good against him. And airborne skill. Airborne skill basically does bonus damage while you're in the air. It's good for insect glaive users or any build that requires you to be in the air. This one, I have my slide attack when I'm in the air, does a shit ton of damage. But yeah. And that is it. Get your gold, get your research points, rank up. Yes, sir. And it's back to the freaking main area. You said what? Nah, that was me claiming them actually. I could sold all of them from there, but I just claimed them. If I would have went down to the sell button and press X, it would have sold all of them for me. But all right, now I'm back at the hub area. Alright, I can go here, check investigations. Hello, Fiverr. Manage investigations. Unlock do investigations, hunting monsters. You want to delete quests if you want more investigations. As you can see, down in the very bottom right corner, it shows you how many investigations you can have, how many of them you can actually register to do. So I can, I have 46 able to do, then I can, or 250, I can register, and then for 50, mm -hmm. I can have registered. Then you get fucking bounties. Bounties are, they give you armor spheres. Armor spheres you use to level up armor. Leveling up armor basically just gives you more um, damage resistance. It doesn't like do anything else bonus. It just makes you able to eat more damage. Unlimited ones. Yeah. yeah, that's how that works. Then basically, you wanna you got your research biologist, they grow shit for you, like certain uh, resources you need. Like I'll show you so I can I'll collect this shit, honey and bugs. And then so I can these are like certain ingredients I need to make certain items. Like some of these build health health potions. Uh, cool drinks, which certain certain areas are so hot, you have to actually drink a cool drink for the area to not do constant damage to you. Flash bugs used for flash pods. Bitter bugs are used for health potions. God bugs are used for powders to be able to spread powder on you. Then the needle berry, blast nut, dragon strike, slash berry, those are used for bow gun ammo. Flame nut used for, for bombs, shit like that. Honey also used for um, honey is basically used for damn near everything. Like you can make. Eventually, if you're making something, you're gonna need honey. So you need to stack. A, you want to grow a shit ton of honey. But yeah, that's that. You can grow that. Uh, fertilize, fertilize, and basically gives you a buffed buff growth period so I should grow slowly Argosy back in town Argosy is not back in town all right and you go up here I should go up here I want to go back to the mill the armor sets on the females look trash 
Like this armor set on a male looks so much better. I miss that armor set. So this was this is the guy, armor guy. Forge armors and shit. Like I'll show you some fucking. Nah, you just built the armor right away. It's like a little cutscene. And bring the armor out to you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then certain armors like you see like leather alpha leather, leather beta different sets give me even though it's the same type of stuff it gives me different bonuses or different um, perks to it so say yeah I'll put this up so you can see uh, then my character what it looks like on them Then you can actually color some of the armor sets too. That shit's ugly as fuck. <laughs> fucking butterfly set. That shit is ass. It's fucking best boy set. On a tour. Nah, it's pretty much set once you build the type. So as you level it up, it actually looks better. Yes. I'll show you that after I show you all the armor sets. Rarity 8. I'll show you in a second. How do you fucking put this away? So the ones you see that are in, like the weapon, if you see it in orange, that means it's rarity 8. If it's purple, that means it's rarity 7. If it's blue, that means it's rarity 6. If it's green, rarity 5. Yellow, rarity 3. White, rarity 2. Um, basically farming 
farming monsters. That's how you level up weapons. And then, yeah. You can also augment them to do more damage. Augment is late game shit, though. Not a lot of people even know about augmenting weapons. Um, you gotta get just far enough in the game and then get specific, uh... Remember those gems I showed you I got after I, uh... Fought that monster? Basically, you'll get a item, it's called a stream stone. And the stream stone is what allow, allows, once you, like, get a stream, actually get a stream stone, then you'll, um, you'll get, it basically, uh, a quest to talk to one of the NPCs in the hub world and or the hub area and she'll talk to you about augmentations and how to do them and what they're used for and shit like that then basically augmentations just let you upgrade your weapon um in any sort of way whether it be the fucking gem slots whether it be its damage type or how much elemental damage you do or the affinity of it or the sharpness of it or the flat damage of it basically like all the shit to the right, they'll change all that shit. And different weapons. Weapons are made out of all the monsters in the game. Certain weapons actually don't have all the monsters in the game. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I believe there is no. Is there a Diablo's hunting horn? Nope, there is no Diablo's hunting horn. Yes, so, like, Diab if you're trying to build a hunting horn build and you're fighting farming Diablo's, there's no point because there is no Diablo's hunting horn build. Or Diablo's hunting horn stuff like that so like that's some diablos is probably i want to say it's probably like the seventh or eighth monster that you're probably going to end up fighting so you're going to fight great jargus is the first monster then it's anchanath then it's toby kadachi then you're going to get to then you're going to get to wild Spire wasteland then you're going to have to fight Bera. Then you're gonna have to fight Jared Totus. Then you're gonna have to fight. So it's really the sixth one. Oh, you're gonna have to fight fucking Rathian. So never mind. It is the seventh one. You're gonna have to fight Rathian after fucking uh, Toby Kadachi. So as soon as you get to Wildspire Wasteland, you'll actually end up fighting Rathian. Or you can run past it. But you can fight a Rathian. If you try to fight it, you'll probably be too low level and it'll probably like fuck your shit up. Because dragons in this game, uh, their tails poison. Well, not all dragons, but the starting, beginning dragons that you'll probably fight. They all can fucking poison. They all can fucking shoot fireballs and shit. You said what? Yeah, there's every resistance type in the game. So if a monster does its damage type, there is definitely a resistance type to it. So some some monsters do like ice damage, there's ice resistance, fire, fire resistance, sleep, sleep resistance. There's monsters that actually can sleep the fuck out you. The one my armor set is made out of, that monster actually sleeps you. But yeah. Yep, I have sleep resistance and I have bonus sleep damage. Not all armor sets are like that though. Yeah, there's a there's a practice area so you can get the tr tr literally try out. You start off with all of the weapons. In your inventory, especially if you have the deluxe edition, I believe. And then you just hop in uh, the practice area, start swinging that shit around, see what you like, see what you don't like, and then 
whichever the one you feel the most comfortable with, you pick that to fight monsters. You might look at look at how you do damage and stuff like that. Cause some people like the way the way they see damage and the way they do damage are two different things. Especially with how monsters act and their behaviors and stuff like that. So some people think like, oh this isn't viable. Or Alright. Alright. 